All right, in this set of slides, we're going to take a look at the evolution of stick insects by the process of natural selection. Now, on the screen here, you see these cartoon stick insects. You may be familiar with them. They're very thin-bodied insects, and they live in habitats where there are sticks, so their thin body shape gives them good camouflage against predators. The number 100 here, we're going to use that to indicate that these insects here have bodies that are 100% like a stick. And we can raise the question, did they always have great camouflage? Historically, two answers have been given to that question. William Paley, a Christian theologian, argued, yes, they always look this way because God designed them that way and made them at some time in the past, and they simply passed on their good camouflage uh, down the generations. Charles Darwin's going to come along and say, no, these stick insects today did not always have this type of uh, body shape. Rather, this stick-like body evolved over generations. So in Darwin's view, the ancestors uh, might have looked like this, very unstick-like. The numbers inside them would indicate the percentage like a stick that each of these individuals is. So here's a zero percenter very chubby. Here's a two percenter, a little bit thinner than the zero percenter. Now how's this going to happen? Well Darwin's going to imagine some ancestral population of insects, some of which maybe stay in some particular environment, but some of which migrate to an environment that has a lot of sticks. And so now in that environment where there are predators present, the predators are going to be eating some of these insects. But any individual that is a little bit better camouflaged than others will have an advantage in this environment. And so Darwin's argument is that the interaction of predators with this population of insects in the environmental context of sticks is going to cause evolutionary change. Here's the basic idea. He called it natural selection, and we can conceptually break it down into two stages. First, there is a struggle for existence among individuals with varied traits. So down here we see a two percenter parent, and let's just imagine that it's one parent that gives rise to the next generation, but if they're sexually reproducing, it would be two, two insects are going to mate and produce offspring. Here's the offspring. Now notice, uh, we're going to put a 2 percenter right in the middle. Most of the offspring are going to inherit the parental characteristics, but there will be some variation in each generation. So here we have a 5 percent stick-like bug and a 0 percenter. So here we have step one again is that in any generation, there's going to be a struggle for existence. These insects are facing all kinds of struggles, struggles finding food, but also predators, right? And there is variation in each generation. And the second concept here is that the winners of the struggle pass on traits that cause them to win. So in our diagram here, in this generation, the five percenters are going to have a little bit of an advantage compared to the others, the two percenters and the zero percenters. They are going to be um, seen a little bit less by the predators. So they will be able to survive a little bit more than these, therefore have more babies. Now, we're assuming here that the 5% trait is heritable. So in the next generation, the 5% parents are going to have a lot of 5% offspring, but some variation uh, increasing the stick-like shape, so up to the 9%ers, and some individuals uh, back down to the 2% body shape. So again, natural selection, we can think of it as a two-step process conceptually. Uh, that there's a struggle for existence in each generation and there's variation in each generation and that means that some of these individuals with varied traits are going to have an advantage and the winners of this struggle for existence are going to pass on those traits that cause them to win and uh, through this process generation after generation Darwin's going to argue uh, body shape will evolve uh, over time